Mount Guru on there. Uh, YouTube channel of uh, God in Itago, known on, uh, as the Guru. The first episode we are talking about uh, it, it pulled from historical perspective, and I'm still continuing the historical perspective now. The last time I spoke about tires being produced in Nigeria and the tires are servicing Volkswagen produce uh, assembled together in Nigeria, Peugeot assembled together in Nigeria, Tratos assembled together in Nigeria, and that from Anambra or what is Anambra to the and, and I spoke about a dimension that. On 2nd of February 1980, one American dollar, you just need 78 Kobo to purchase one American dollar. You don't need a whole one naira. Meaning, one naira gives you one point something dollar. But today, that same dollar, that's one dollar which you purchase with 78 Kobo then, is now 500 and taking the database of 2nd uh, February this year that just ended. 550. Let, let, let me run through other things that we needed to know. We were listening to radio and watching television sets assembled in Ibadan by Sanyu. That was the time, or before, long before that time, uh, Bafem Abolowo and his government of Western region have been able to create a, a, a redivision and establish to the rural communities, establishing one uh, television, which is just like another television in every village square, so as to deter people emigrating into the urban area. Because whatever you want to hear, but, and then you will listen all through Western region, which included the, the Delta State of Sudan, Edo State, and many other places. You will hear this news you are hearing from Ibadan. So they were produced, put together perfectly by science. In we were using refrigerators, freezers, air conditioner produced by Tamuku and De Debu. But all those are gone. I don't know this we were putting on clothes produced from Uti, Texas, means in Kaduna and Chenerams in Lagos. But those are gone. They were not, all the clothes we were using there, they were not important. Our water was running through pipes produced by Kwali Pipe in Kano and Duraplast in Lagos. Our toilets were fitted with WC produced at Kano and Abelkuta. We were cooking with LPG gas stored inside gas cylinders produced at the LGC factory in Ibadan. Our electricity was flowing through cables produced by the Nigeria Wire and Cable Ibadan, and Nokako in Kaduna, and Cable Meta in Lagos and Portacos. But all those are dead now. We had butter and lilacs producing the shoes we were putting on. Butter, so what of Jotadan. That's where the butter factory is. And butter producing shoes in Nigeria, we're exporting all these shoes to most African countries. And occasionally, they exported to uh, some developing countries in Europe mostly Eastern Europe, but today, is butter still producing? No. Let us see wrong. Hmm. The leather butter Leland used in producing the shoe there were not imported. They were leather, leathers turned around Nigeria, mostly Kaduna. Those are the and the quality of those leathers are just as good as quality of any good treated leather that will come from Italy or from any part of Europe or America or Asia country today. We were flying the Nigeria Airways in 1980. And the Nigeria Airways 
was one of the biggest airlines in the whole of Africa. But today, do we have any? No. Most of the food we ate were grown or produced in Nigeria. But today, today, we import everything. We import everything into Nigeria, including kula nut, guru, kula nut. We import sometimes a full ship load, a ship load with five ashes from every coast, kula nut, toothpick, with all the woods we have here, bring it, carve it, reduce them to size that could go into your teeth. No, we put. There are some Nigerians that when they want to build houses, I can show you five of such houses in Lekki. The sand with which the cement and everything will be used, they put it from Europe. Today, I can show you five houses that is done. All this were what we had happening in the 80s, beginning of 80s. They had been there before 80. We came from the 50s that our governments came, mostly about from our law, when Ikeja was first of all the headquarters of the old western region. That is why he created Ikeja as industrial area. But what happened and what has changed the narrative? All this to collapse. Today we depend on everything foreign, including our children. They don't have school to attend in Nigeria because we believe the schools will not be good enough for them. Mostly the children of the bourgeois. A bill has just come into the National Assembly recently and it was thrown out. The bill is calling that every person in government, either as elected or top officials of government, all their children must go to school must go to public school in Nigeria, not even private school, public school. The bill, before it was tabled, it was thrown out. Are these not tragedies? Can't we share this narrative? Is it really very, very good that when a dollar would, would need 78 kobo of Nigeria Naira to get one dollar in just 1980, today that same dollar is 550. And before this time next year, that said dollar may likely be headed to a 750 naira. Can't we see it? Would it not be for our good, for our leaders to sit down and say, oh, must we keep on the trajectory of lying? If we cannot, if we have lied long enough for our followers and they did not know where we are today, is this not an evidence that I want to quote Dora, uh, Dora Akuile, who said that, what is wrong? If we find our way back from part of lying and go to the reality and declare ourselves that let us come, henceforth, let us be righteous in truth. I tell you ourselves the truth. We've lied enough. Would that not help us? So that the one stealing will stop stealing. And so that we can do something. So that the future generations will come and have something to do. I think this is a question which should remain food for thought for both the leadership and the followership. Maybe and maybe. Nigeria could change. The Guru signing off. Goodbye.